Yang lain setuju nggak kira-kira? Setuju nggak untuk yang ini? She had never been there before. Ya nggak, Mbak. Itu tadi kan? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, she had never been there before. Right, correct. Okay, number six. Ibu Ani, silakan. Bu Ani. Mbak Bella tadi sudah. Mbak Bella. No. Uh, Oke, okay. Mbak Bella silakan number six. Mm -hmm. She told me. Didn't, past tense, and then kita mau ubah ke reported speech. Past tense kita ubah menjadi past, past perfect. Mm -hmm. So, I didn't go to the party. She told me that she mm -hmm. didn't. Kalau kita mau ubah ke past, past, past perfect, had, had not. Uh huh. Yes, she told me that she had not uh, gone to the party. Yes, number seven. Mbak Catur Taduda ya. Mbak ini, Mbak Dia Purwanti. Oke okay, Mbak, silahkan. Number seven. Sis. She said that mm -hmm. will this it jadi apa? Mm -hmm. Will, kalau kita mau ubah will jadi apa? Would, ya. Yeah. So, she said that Lucy would come later. Yes, she said that Lucy would come later. Next one, number eight. Coba Mbak Dina. Mbak Dina Puji Lestari. No, Mbak Dina, Mbak Eka. Mbak Eka, no. Mbak Endah. Lah ini pada kemana? Mbak Erni. No, Mbak Febi, silahkan. Yes. She told me. Yes, she told me that uh, he had not eaten breakfast. Okay. Any. 
the next one coba ini ada yang sorry did someone take over my ini ya tadi she told me uh, she told me that he had not eaten breakfast okay number nine let's that let's do that together I can help you tomorrow. Jadi how she said Okay, she said that she tomorrow becomes the next day. Eh? So she told me that she could help me the next day the next day yes the next day or the, the following day all right number 10 you should go to bed early she told me that i should should never goes okay berarti enggak ada perbedaan dong she told me that i should should shall shall itu justru present tense kalau kita menggunakan shall she told me that I should Yes, kita harus kita menggunakan bakalan menggunakan gone. Tapi sebelum gone itu ada kata satu. Should have. Ya, yeah, should have. So, she told me that I should have gone to bed early. Is it difficult? Are these sentences It's confusing karena karena masih ini ya harus lihat oh tensesnya ini bakalan kita ganti ini lalu kata keterangannya ini harus kita ganti gini mungkin karena itu but then once you get familiar with this one and then it's gonna be like yes it's so easy for you all right so uh, let's see the next one oh this is we already used this one And then the next one, we also can uh, report comments, request, or order, or even suggestion in five orders. Yeah, you can see your book also in uh, on page 5.7. For example, five format here doesn't mean like harus begini. Tapi biasanya ini susunan yang ketika kita mau report order, uh, request, atau suggestion. For example, number one, somebody... And then we have somebody else, okay? She told her daughter to eat. Atau, we ask them to help us. The next one, the officer ordered me not to quit. Not to quit. Or Mr. and Mrs. Jones wanted their son to study. Yeah, jadi uh, kita juga bisa bilang Oh, but then let's see the question here. Now, uh, the the not question sentence. He said you should get married. He said that I should get married. And then uh, we have the previous sentence. I should go to the I should go to the bed early. And then we change that. I should have gone to bed early. Which one do you think is correct? Should we change should uh, menjadi should have or just should? Apakah kita should harus kita ubah atau tidak? Mm -hmm. Nggak diubah. Jadi kira-kira itu harus kita ubah atau enggak sih sebenarnya? Oh, okay. So we have a mistakes here. 
It means, sorry for that one, you should go to bed early, tapi seharusnya kita tidak menambahkan have ya. Sorry for that. So, it means she told me that I should go to bed early. Alright. Jadi, yang tadi yang kalian bilang should aja itu, yes, you guys are correct. Alright. Jadi, sorry for this one. Please keep in mind. So, I should go to, uh, she told me that I should go to bed early, yeah. Okay. So, the next one, we also have should have. She said, I should have worn a better dress yesterday. Kalau kita mau ubah ke uh, reported speed. She said that she would have worn a better dress the day before. Yesterday, kita ubah menjadi the day before. And then, might also. I said, I might go to the Statue of Liberty. And then, if we want to change it, I said that I might go to the Statue of Liberty. Jadi, sama penggunaannya, tidak ada perubahan. Jadi, ini special case. For example, for should, should have, and might. Jadi, yang bakalan diubah itu adalah si subject atau kata keterangan waktunya. Okay. The next one, we have the rules for reporting questions. Halaman 5.8. The rules here, the normal form for asking a direct question. A direct question ini maksudnya yang menggunakan uh, question word. For example, where, why, how much, have. Kalau, uh, coba lihat di bukunya nomor 1. Where is your father working these days? And number two. Two, are they going to the picnic? Why do you talk so much? Does your brother eat meat? How much did, you, uh, did that book cost? Or number six, have you seen my textbook? My textbook. Jadi, kalau kita mau mengubahnya ini kira-kira seperti apa ya? Bisa kita lihat di 5C-nya. So, here the reported speech form. Uh, of the question number one for example where is your father working these days jadi kalau kita mau ubahnya kita uh, nanya kita bakal bilang he asked me where my mother was working those days ya jadi kalau di pertanyaan kan question mark uh, question word and then helping verb subject predicate and kata keterangan tapi ketika kita mau report atau menggunakan reported speech, bakal ada yang berubah antara si subject dan si helping verb. Contohnya, where is your father working? In reported speech, where my uh, where my father was working. Ya, jadi kita bakalan ubah penempatan si subject dan si predikatnya. And we also have changes. For example, untuk kata is in a, in active sentence, we will change it to was. Dan ketika kita mau menggu kita menggunakan are, we can also change to was or were. It depends on the subject still, yeah. And then we use do, and then we change it to simple past atau did. And then we use does or Uh, does also we will change it into simple past did. Jadi kalau do and does we will change it into did. And then if we see any did in the sentence we will change it into past perfect atau had plus verb three atau past participle. And then the present perfect and then we will change it into past perfect. Is it hard for you guys? Confusing? <laughs> Oke, okay. uh, jadi gini deh, bahasa Indonesianya, it's okay, ini memang sangat susah untuk structure. <laughs> uh, kalau kita di dalam bahasa Inggris menanyakan kalimat aktif, for example, where are you going? Gitu kan, where, kata tanya, are itu helping verb, you subject, going, kata kerja, ya tidak? Sampai situ paham? Paham? Oke. Okay. Ketika kita mau report, ketika kita mau mengubahnya ke pasif, terus saya bilang, 
eh dia nanya kemana aku mau pergi gitu kan eh dia tanya where kemana aku mau pergi where I was going jadi dia itu sentence nggak pertanyaan lagi di dalam pasif you got it Okay, so try to change this one, okay? Coba kalian ubah ini. Uh, what do you want to eat? Gimana kalian ubahnya? What do you want to eat? Mm -hmm. What do you want? Do di situ present tense. Kita harus ubah ke past tense. What I... Uh -huh. What I Kata kerja dari want Kata kerja keduanya jadi apa? Wanted Okay I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this one to you again What do you want to eat? How do you change it? She said uh, She asked me Why or what? <laughs> What? What I? Yes, as simple as that, ya. Jadi ketika di pertanyaan kita si helping verb is am, are, do, does, did ini datang duluan. Eh, tapi ketika kita mau ubah, yang datang duluan itu si subjek baru diikuti kata kerja atau diikuti helping verb. Got it? Not yet? Oke, okay, so lihat bukunya, lihat, ya, yeah, lihat bukunya di halaman 5.8. Coba pertanyaan ketiga. Apa pertanyaan ketiganya? Coba dibaca. Why? Oke. Okay. Yang question word-nya apa? Why? Do di situ auxiliary atau helping verb-nya ya. Subjeknya adalah you. Talk adalah verb. Oke, okay. ketika kita mau ubah ke reported speech, coba lihat di pertanyaan uh, jawaban nomor tiga di bawah. He asked me why, why, uh -huh. so, so much. Why tetap di awal ya? Question word. Eh, tetapi nggak si do lagi yang datang, yang datang itu langsung si subjek, si I-nya baru. Do you talk? Talk di sini adalah present tense. And then we want to change it into past tense. Yaitu talk, talk, talk. Ya? Jadi why I talked so much. Eh miss, itu do-nya kok hilang? Kira-kira do-nya kok hilang? Tapi di sini katanya kalau do itu bakalan kita jadi did. Kenapa hilang kira-kira? Yes, karena kita punya kata kerja langsung ya. Kata kerja kedua. Jadi kita ubah ke kata kerja kedua. Easy, right? <laughs> Mudah kira-kira. Oke, okay, kita bakalan lihat uh, pertanyaan supaya lihat ini. Not this one. Later, we gonna check this one later. Ini kenapa saya tidak bisa. Yes. It's not moving from here, that's why. Oke. Okay. Um, maybe. Oh. Who takes my PowerPoint control? Ini ada yang ambil alih PowerPoint saya ya. That's that's why I couldn't move it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Kapan chat ya? Okay, wait ya. Yeah. I'm gonna take control back. My PowerPoint. <laughs> So 
a little bit hard here. Sorry, yeah. Wait a second. Masi nam ini hang computer ya. I didn't use the usual one. That's why it's like a little bit lamot, you know. Okay. Did you see the PowerPoint, guys? Bisa lihat nggak? Okay. Coba lihat yang ini deh. Uh, bisa dilihat. Oh, ini, ini belum. Entah. Okay, let's see here. Number one. My mom wanted to know when will you start behaving? Kira-kira. Udah page 13. Coba. Uh -huh, udah? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. When will you start behaving? Okay. Gimana kira-kira? Mom wanted to know. Question mark still. Yes. When? Okay. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> Ketika kita ingat, ketika kita ubah ke reported, si wordnya itu atau si kata helping verb model bakalan datang setelah subject. Jadi, mom wanted to know when subjectnya I would start behaving. See, it's easy, you can do that. Okay, the next one, number two. The stranger asked, uh, start, still start behaving. Why? Because kita menggunakan would. Would always comes with uh, verb one. Would always come after verb one, yeah? Okay, number two. The stranger asked me, do you speak Chinese? Gimana? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Pertanyaan yes, no question. Jangan lupa, kita harus menggunakan. Uh, okay. Oh, oh, it means you got it, right? <laughs> Do, itu present. Mm -hmm. The stranger asked, okay, if. Okay, if I, it's already correct. The stranger asked me if I, yes, spoke Chinese. Speak jadi past tense-nya adalah spoke, ya. Yeah? Number three, Mary wanted to know what have you done with your hair? Have you done? Present perfect. Okay, Mary. Mary wanted to know what subject I had done. Yes, that's great. Mary wanted to know what I had done with my my hair. Yes, number four. Number four, gimana? I asked the teacher, can, itu yes, no question, if, yeah, if I could, yes, if I could go to the restroom, correct, number five. Mm-hmm.
Itu past tense kita ubah menjadi Kalau past tense kita ubah menjadi Oke, okay, jadinya yaitu uh, Andy wanted to know if my mom Yes, had made ya. Yeah? Make itu jadi made. Andy wanted to know if my mom had made the wedding wedding dress. Easy, right? Kita bakalan lihat lagi nih pertanyaan-pertanyaan. Oke, okay. di sini juga tadi ada saya skip satu yaitu tentang reported. Jadi kalau kita mau reported ini kita bakalan menggunakan not to atau to ya. So let's see number one. If we want to say comment. The teacher said you can't leave the room. How can we change this one? You can't. Berarti nggak bisa. Kalau tidak bisa berarti kita bakalan menggunakan not to. The teacher The teacher order to not Yes, the teacher ordered us to not leave the room. Jadi nggak ada perubahan you can't atau itu harus you could ya. Jadi langsung directly to not leave the room. Number two, mom told me, mom warned me. Yes, not to spend too much money on clothes. I guess this one is a bit easier than before. I said to her, speak, uh, speak more slowly. I told her <laughs> to speak more slowly. Yeah? To speak more slowly. Okay, the next one, number four. The doctor said you mustn't eat any sweets. To not or to eat. To eat, karena kita udah forbid. To eat. Jadi, uh, the doctor forbid me to eat, uh, to eat any sweets. Yeah. Number five. Don said, I won't tell anyone. Don promise. To not tell anyone. Yes. Easy, right? Okay. Uh, you can see this one also in your book. Activity 3. Uh, activity. And then we will continue this one if we still have time. But before that, let's see. I have some exercise for you. Can you see my screen? Bisa lihat screen saya tak? Yang terbaru, yang Microsoft Word. Not yet? Can you? Ah, masa ya? Belum ya? Kok belum ya? Yang lain gimana? Padahal di tempat saya sudah berubah. Oke, okay, let me try one more time. Sudah? Not yet? Padahal ini sudah presenting loh. Maybe gangguan ini kali ya. Oke. 